<laughs> That's how my workday starts. <laughs> I find a beautiful place, I hang out with a piece of wood that I've cut, and then on what I consider a good day, this is one of the results that happens mm -hmm. in about an hour, an hour and a half oh. session. Feel free to handle that, pass it around. It's got notation information on the back of where I was, what day. Usually, I acquire large sheets of wood, either they're gifted or reclaimed furniture. If I'm in a pinch, I wood that I put some cheap house primer on, and then I stain it orange because that feels right. Sometimes I don't. Run the food tips off, and I'm good to go. I have a variety of these in a pack. I start off optimistically with a large one, and as the hike gets longer, and I realize I have less time, I revert to a smaller one. <laughs> so when I create art this way, I believe I'm creating an artifact. It is art, there's a fact, and I'm in the center. It's art, it's a subjective claim about reality, it's an exploration, it's symbolic, half the time it's ambiguous and nonsensical. It's a fact, or the best I can do as stating a fact, it's a claim about reality and what I'm looking at. And I am in the center, creating artifacts. Art has played such an insane role in my development, my personal fulfillment, it's brought me community. You know, a lot of us artists are timid, anxious, quiet. And I decided, you know, screw all that noise and having social anxiety. If I'm at a place, I'm going to at least devote myself to, at the very least, developing my religion with pen. Uh, more than that, it was this awesome, safe place where I could make claims about rules of reality, about physics, about optics, about the light, about philosophy and my development. And just put them to the test, see if it works logically on the paper. And, uh, you know, it, it might for two days, and then I realized I was terribly wrong and a fool for ever thinking I could be right. But, you know, so it goes and I get a little better. Uh, and I've recently hit a wall where I do despise almost everything I've made. But uh, that's why, you know, <laughs> All right. So, because it has done that for me, and that has been immeasurable, um, whenever I'm creating in a sketchbook, it just becomes this vortex and influences start making their way into my life and people ask what I'm doing and, and trial by fire I learn how to talk to people, God bless, you know? Mm -hmm. So whenever I'm out at a coffee shop or at a jam night, I bring four of these. I bring two for myself because I'm going to rotate and then I bring two separate pads. One is for the person I got hooked by watching me and one is for their friend. So I always have four pads of paper with me, always. It's it's fun. Um, that's an understatement. It feels fulfilling. Another joy of that process of creating artifacts when I'm at a jam night or an open mic at a coffee shop, if I'm able to artistically and visually capture someone's creative aha moment, say the basics of slang, and I'm able to capture that glee on his face, and I give that to them, they look at it and they get to relive that aha moment. First of all, they're Flattered. It blows me away when people are flattered by receiving or being drawn. It's like, I'm worthy of being drawn? It's like, it's going to do it anyway, and by my standards, that sucks. But I'm really grateful that you love it. <laughs> uh, but they get to kind of relive that moment. And that's really beautiful, because you can echo creativity forward. And that's, that's a powerful role to play in a community. But lastly, by creating <laughs> art, uh, we're carrying forward a very very long lineage of history, of influence. There are cave paintings, and those are just the paintings that have survived. Who knows when humanity really started, and when we started making marks to describe what was going on. And it's, it's consumed some of the greatest minds of humankind. Not to put myself in that rank, but Da Vinci, Michelangelo, these are not only visual, artistic people. They are inventors and physicists and naturalists. So it, it at least feels good to play the game that they're playing. And uh, lastly, the universe spent 14 billion years becoming you own that shit. <laughs> <laughs>